Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Diego here in Bogota, Colombia, and the sun is peeking out from behind the clouds. The Andes Mountains are right there behind me. I'm at about 8,600 feet above sea level, and there's lots of traffic noise because Bogota is not a quiet city, okay? And I got a question from one of our YouTube viewers. Uh, what is the minimum number of photographs that you should include in your K-1 visa package. Well, my recommendation, ladies and gentlemen, is between 30 to 50 photos with family members, with friends, on dates, and, and selfies also, you know, selfies with your fiance, but I recommend photos with family and friends to show interaction with the family. Remember, Everybody on the planet knows you guys are engaged to get married, right? It's not a secret. It's on Facebook. It's on Instagram. It's on Twitter. Everybody knows you're getting married, right? Okay. So between 30 and 50 photos would be my recommendation. Now these photographs need to be uh, spread out over a one year to a three year period or longer depending on how long you guys have been together. If you've been together 10 years and you finally decide to get married then you're gonna have 10 years worth of photos, okay? But the average visa, K-1 visa, is between one year and four years, okay? And then make sure that if you're in a, if you're in a picture with your fiance and her friends or his friends make sure you identify the friends in the photograph, right? This is Bill, this is George, this is Steve, this is Julia, or whatever the names are, okay? And also write the location. This is, this is Diego and Karina with Andrea, Anna, and Kelly in, in uh, the ice cream shop uh, in Bogota, Colombia. Okay, very easy, okay? Very important that you don't include just selfies. Okay, immigration want to see that you are actually in a real relationship and all your friends and family know about it. So you've got your 30 to 50 photos and they don't have to be original photos. Do not send original photos to your K-1 visa package. Don't send, get them printed on paper. You know, use plain white paper and print the photos on there. Make sure that you date the photos, make sure you identify the location of where you are, and make sure you identify the people in the pictures, okay? But remember this, this is very important, ladies and gentlemen. When your visa gets approved, Yay! the next step is MVC processing, national visa processing. You are only allowed to upload photos that are two megabytes or less, okay? Two megabytes or less. If you upload 50 pictures, that's five megabytes, USCIS and the National Visa Center will not accept it in the computer database. So send, initially, send to USCIS, your K-1 visa package, send 30, 50, 100 pictures over a one year, five year period. And then when you go to upload pictures to the National Visa Center, Select a few, you know, maybe five to ten, and upload those under two megabytes. Okay? You got that? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That's the video on photos and our recommendations. Karina's out, out and about. Check this out right here. Look. Look at these. Look at these are Colombian oranges. Fresh. Colombian oranges. I love it here. You got everything is fresh the fruit, and even the ice cream. And I eat way too much chocolate, okay? But anyway, guys, we will see you in Colombia and the United States, hopefully.